Hey everyone, wanted to do a quick review for you on another diaper bag backpack. This is a backpack made by the company called 12 Little. And this particular backpack is called the Unisex Courage Backpack and I have it here in the just very neutral gray and black colors. Uh, so this is a, like, like the title says, it's a unisex backpack, so definitely is a good option for the dads out there. Um, I am really liking this backpack. I'm planning on doing a comparison review video on this particular bag as compared to the companion backpack that I also have, and I can put a link in the description box below for that particular review. So I'm just going to go through the features of this bag really quickly so you get an idea of what it looks like and what it holds inside. Uh, so as you can see, it's a very neutral gray black color and uh, the very noticeable thing about this particular backpack is the double grab handles at the top. I'm loving those. I think that's my favorite feature about this particular bag. And so it's just super, super neutral for the dads and moms. Very nice and sleek looking, really simple kind of uh, design to it and plenty of pockets inside and out for you to stash all of your things. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it really quickly here. It's got a nice horizontal zip pocket as well as a little exterior zip compartment on the outside of the bag. And I think this bag retails for $210. You can find it on their website, 12little.com, as well as places like Nordstrom and Bye Bye Baby and bedbathandbeyond.com. So plenty of different places to shop for this bag. I think it comes in a couple of other colors like an olive green, maybe a tan, and there might even be newer colors now for fall coming out. So you'll definitely want to check out their website 12little.com to see all of the different color options that they have. But I'm definitely a gray and blue person, so I chose the, the gray for sure. So in here, I'll just give you an idea of what I keep in this bag generally. I'm not going to get into too much detail on what each thing holds inside. I actually have a more in-depth review of those types of items in my companion backpack review video. So if you're interested in checking out all of the more detailed reviews of the interior pouches and things that I keep in here, go ahead and check out that video for a better detailed description. So. In the um, front zip pocket here, it's just a nice, very smooth zipper, and it's trimmed with some nice black leather trim here, and it has black leather trim surrounding the zipper. And it has the cute little 12 little logo right on the front there. So in this pocket, I just keep my phone and wallet. So this is my current wallet, which is a little coin purse right now. And then I have my iPhone 6S, which is uh, which has a little loopy case on it right now. It's a pretty good size pocket. Uh, you can definitely fit more in there besides just a phone and a little coin purse. Maybe things like chapsticks, lotions, things like that that are um, easy to grab for. Car keys will also fit in here pretty well. So that is all that I keep in this front exterior zip pocket and then right underneath it is the exterior zippered compartment and it opens with one zipper. Uh, I kind of wish this was a dual zip so it had two zippers to open uh, onto each side but not a huge deal it's just one zipper but it's still nice and smooth. And then in here I just have a lot of quick grab items so I just have some sunscreen Got my Honest Company hand sanitizing spray, got a pack of tissues, got a little coin purse that has some more toiletry items like eye drops and chapsticks and things like that in here. This is made by Vera Bradley in the print Jazzy Blooms. And then lastly in the back here I have my Y pouch and I have a more detailed uh, kind of description of this in the companion backpacks review video so check that out if you're interested. So this is just my wipes case that I like to fill with hand and face wipes for my kiddos. So all of those things fit pretty well into this front pocket here. As you can see it is lined with a nice kind of light gray um, color and it has 12 little printed all over. So this is the front pocket here. Then on the sides it has very generously sized bottle pockets. And here I just have my kiddos Nalgene Grip and Gulp water bottle. 
which is a really nice wide size bottle. This is a 10 ounce water bottle, so it fits very, very well in this pocket. And then on the other side, I just have for kind of demonstration purposes, this is a Swell 9 ounce water bottle and you can definitely accommodate the taller size water bottles as well. The 17 ounce ones for sure will fit in here just fine. So uh, I don't normally keep this water bottle in this pocket. I will, I will keep this occupied with my other kiddos water bottle, which is also a Nalgene Grip and Gulp. So, but I just put the Swell bottle in there for size reference in case you're wondering if it'll fit. It definitely will very, very easily fit in there. Not a problem. So then in the back, it's a very simple back. There's not a whole lot going on in the back. It's just nice padded backpack straps as well as a nice padded back. It's just plain, nothing else back there. But it does have what um, most 12 little bags have. It has the nice hidden zippered compartment on the bottom here. And it's trimmed with the little leather on the zipper pull. And so this is a pretty nice size pocket and this particular pocket actually opens downward into the bottom of the bag. So it opens down this way, whereas the companion backpack actually opens up this way. So this one opens down and in here I just keep or I just stash the little change pad that comes with the backpack. Um, but in here it's a pretty nice size. It just it pretty much covers the entire bottom area of the bag. So this is a really good place to stash like dirty clothes and soiled items that you don't want to contaminate the rest of your bag with. This is a nice pocket for that. And I do like how it opens down into the bottom of the bag so that your stuff doesn't fall out when you have it held upright. So that's the little stash hidden pocket. And then just real quick on the change pad, it's a nice size change pad. It's covered in the same as the overall lining of the bag, just the 12 little print all over. And it's pretty generously sized. It's nice and long to hopefully accommodate most kiddos. But yeah, I don't really use this. I don't have a need for a super nice change pad anymore now that my kids are older. So, um, but I just wanted to let you see what it looked like for purposes of the video. So it's a nice size and it just folds up pretty compactly. You can either keep it, actually you could keep it in a number of different places, but um, the bottom pocket's a nice place to stash it as well as even the front exterior zip compartment too. So then just turning it back around to get into the interior of the bag. You can see that these, the two straps, uh, when you're wearing it on your back, they do tend to stick up a little bit like this. So for me personally, that just looked a little bit funny. So a lot of the times I just like to kind of tuck this strap down so it doesn't look as odd. You can also sort of tuck the other one down, but um, since the other one isn't attached by any buckles, it just kind of, it kind of sticks up as a grab handle, but that just looks like a regular backpack to me. So the back one sticking up didn't really bother me. It was more so the front one sticking up that kind of looked weird on my back. So I usually just like to push these down. And since these do have little kind of buckle attachments, it's much easier to push them down to make uh, the backpack look a little bit more normal when it's hanging on your back. So that's just an FYI. And it has nice little double zips for the main zipper compartment that you can easily open. Very, very nice and wide in here. And this is gonna be real quick. All of these items in here are identical to what I have in the companion backpack review video. So again, if you want more detailed uh, descriptions and kind of showing you what's in all of these different pouches, just feel free to check out that video there. So in here, it has a very large laptop compartment in the back, and then it has two elastic slip pockets on the front wall here, as well as a nice long horizontal zip on the top, towards the top part of the front flap. So this is a, uh, this is a really nice pocket placement for this because you're not digging around for it on the bottom of the bag. You just open it, unzip it, open it up, and it's right here which is easy for you to grab. So in here, I just have my reusable wet bag and my Jujube set pieces, the long strap for all of those. That's all I keep in that pocket, but you, you can see it's quite deep. 
can definitely fit plenty of things in there. And then right below there, I just, uh, in this two elastic slip pockets, I just have, this is my Bumpkins uh, reusable snack bag that I just have their two little Bumpkins bibs in. So I just fold those up and toss them in the bag and toss them into that slip pocket really easily. Right next to those, I have my twins cutlery set that we use at restaurants. And then, actually in the laptop compartment, I don't normally keep the laptop, but for this particular bag, I think it's nice that they included the laptop compartment so that you can continue to use this bag, of course, long after your kids are grown up and you don't need a diaper bag anymore. So it's nice that they included this laptop compartment. You can actually just use this as a regular backpack and it'll look just totally normal and totally fine. It had, and it has all of the features that you would want in a normal backpack too. So in there, I actually just keep two Jujube set pieces. This is the medium set piece that you're going to see in all of my videos. This is in the black magic print and in here I just have a bunch of snacks for my girls. And then I also have the small set piece and in here is really just all of my basic medical supplies. So that's all that I currently have in the laptop compartment. It is quite large. I can tell you that um, it'll definitely fit kind of a smaller size laptop, maybe a 13 inch. I uh, don't have a laptop at the moment. The only thing I have is a Microsoft Surface Pro 4. And I can tell you that it fits in here with way more room to spare. That, that the Surface Pro is swimming in this back laptop compartment. So if you have any idea of how big the Surface Pro 4 is, you'll have a good idea of this pocket and that it's actually much larger and can accommodate things that are bigger than the Surface Pro. So then in the bottom, I just have my little Keep the Twins Busy pouch with a kind of art supplies and crayons and play packs and things like that. And I got this at the Japanese dollar store Daiso. And then at the bottom here, you can see it's way down at the bottom because this bag is so large and tall. I have the large GGB set piece and this is just filled with basic diapering needs. And then at the very bottom, I just have a reusable bag that folds into itself. This is by Kipling, so a reusable tote bag. Okay. And so that's really all that I keep in there. Um, like I said in my companion review video, I like to keep my backpacks pretty empty at the top so that I can stash blankets and jackets and those types of items at the very top so I can grab them as I need. But I'll go ahead and hold it up here so you can get an idea of what the interior looks like. So again, it just has two elastic slip pockets, a nice horizontal zip pocket on the front flap, and then the large laptop compartment on the back. And Laptop compartment closes with a Velcro tab closure. So keep your, your tech stuff very nice and secure. And then the bottom, as you can see, is very nice and wide at the bottom there. So it has plenty, plenty of room for all of your essentials. So that is pretty much it for the Unisex Courage backpack. It's a very lightweight backpack and um, I am planning on doing a comparison review video on this bag compared to the companion backpack and just comparing the different features and pockets and things that each bag has and what I kind of like about each bag and what I miss about each bag and kind of sometimes I wish they would combine this bag and the companion backpack together into one backpack and then that would literally be the perfect bag in my opinion but um, I think each bag has its own sort of pros and cons and I'll definitely get to more details of those in the comparison review video so be on the lookout for that but this is the courage backpack i really really like it it's very very lightweight it's easy to throw around you're not really worried about it getting too dirty um because it's a nice nylon material it's almost like a crinkled nylon almost like kipling bags so it's super hardy and durable and pretty easy to just wipe clean and maintain. So that's really nice about this bag. I like that it's a very nice color neutral and design neutral sort of um, look to it so that both dads and moms can carry it in style.
So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, below and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you'd like to see additional product review videos in the future, I'd really appreciate any subscriptions. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I hope this video was helpful for you. And uh, thank you again.